You know, the Florida Keys are really a beautiful area. And we spent three days in Marathon in El Mirada. And in those three days, we saw some awesome things, ate some incredible food, and really are taking home some memories that we will never forget. Thank you for joining us on uh, this short look at those three absolutely awesome days in the Florida Keys. Alright, so first night at Jolly Roger and uh, had a bit of a storm this morning. Winds got a little high but no damage and uh, it's a beautiful, beautiful morning here in Marathon. And uh, we'd, Stephanie and I were discussing this would be a place we would definitely come back to. It's a long trip from home but we would definitely come back here again. And uh, so we're down here by the water and going to go see what trouble we can get into in Marathon. That's a nice pool. Yeah, look at the sti the stingray in the, uh, the different. And there's a turtle. Oh yeah, and they've got a turtle. Starfish. How's this for a place to eat, huh? And now, a little snorkeling again at the Jolly Roger. Early morning, five o'clock. About to jump in the truck, go to Illinois, and we're gonna go fishing. See if we can't catch something today.
that? At our farthest point out, we were about 12 miles, an awesome place to catch fish if you're in Illamorada. was really rough today. But we caught lots of good fish, had a wonderful time on the water, and then after about half a day it was time to head back in.
had an awesome time with Captain Don and First Mate Dave aboard the KK-4. Then, back to the Jolly Roger, a meal of fresh mahi-mahi, and just more beach time, watching another sunset going down in this one of the most beautiful places in the world. next morning to Sombrero Beach, which happens to be dog food, although Fergus didn't really understand what the big deal was. And our introduction to Cuban food, La Niña's. Not on the far end of Marathon from where we're camped, just short of the Seven Mile Bridge. Really good food. I particularly liked the Cuban sandwich. And then one more chance to snorkel off the wall at the Jolly Roger. The fish were in wildlife are particularly active today. Well, it's our last night here at Jolly Roger, and we've had such a good time. I really hate, <clears throat> I really hate leaving. To be perfectly honest, we've been here for I guess three full days, four nights. This will be the fourth night here, and there just wasn't the time to do everything that we wanted to do. We've been snorkeling, we went fishing. Although the weather was rough, we had a good turnout with the fishing. I'll do that again in a heartbeat. And uh, this will not be our last time here at Jolly Roger. So anyway, I wanted to walk down here and see the lights one more time before we head home, or at least head on down the road, I guess. We're going to Key West tomorrow, and it's been a few days there, and then it's back to Texas. So uh, anyway, I just wanted to remember just how well they've got this thing set up. So tomorrow it's down the road to Key West. More adventures for our little family. Stay tuned. Take care.